Hi guys, this is Yuraj Sharma and in this session we will discuss the raw context and the filter context. What is the context? Context means a situation or a environment where the DAX can calculate the expense dynamically. Now, first of all we check the raw context. What is the raw context? A raw context is evaluated whenever an expression iterate over a table. Iterate over a table means table and whenever the processing happens on the table so data is scanned row by row step by step so this is this is called the row context generally when you add a calculated column or use say some dex function sum x average x filter and add columns so by default this function uses the row context as you can see in that diagram we have some data that is the country, product, quantity sold, year of sales, sales date, then gross sales and net sales and finally profit. Profit is a calculated column. We are adding this column and we are using a formula gross sales minus net sales. So this formula is using the row context. Why? Because the, the formula is referring the current row and current row has the columns and columns have the values. So you refer the column's name say gross sales and net sales so basically uh, the formula is taking the value from those columns from the current row so first row gross sales 500 400 then minus 100 this is the current row then this calculus is done then pointers move to next row then calculation for the second row row context then row context 3 4, 5, 6 and so on. So whenever the like processing happens row by row. So that is called the row context. Now we check the filter context. The filter context is a set of filters applied to the data model before the evaluation of a DAX expression start. What does it mean? It means filter basically. It extracts a set of data from a table. Suppose we have a table and we want some calculation on only for the selected data then we can apply a filter and that filter will extract those selected data the important thing is if we check the second point filters context always exists before a dex expression being evaluated it means if you apply some calculation so the filter comes first it means first of all the system will apply the filter and extract the set of data then apply the calculation so we have some basic filters in power bi like a slicer filter through other visual in matrix visual based on row and column data files power bi filters also we have dex filters dex commands so we can use those one now we check the filter context so we can understand the filter context with this diagram we have data that is the segment, country, quantity sold, gross sales, net sales and finally calculated column that is the profit. So suppose we have to calculate the profit for all countries but sometimes we need to calculate the profit for selected data or for selected country say Canada. So I want to calculate the profit only for the Canada country but other countries are there. So we will apply the filter and we have the three entries in this data the Canada this one then second one and the third one so these are the three entries when we apply the filter as you can see in the formula country equal to Canada so first of all so the priority of the calculation is the filter first of all filter will, will apply and extract the data set if we check the second diagram so after applying the filter so this is the data set this filter will extract this data set in a table format and finally the calculation or evaluation happens on each and every row if we check the third diagram this one then we are calculating the profit for the Canada country 500 400 then equal to 100 row 1 row 2 and row 3 so this is called the filter context now we check the practical use of the row context so first of all we check the data 
in our excel sheet we have the country product quantity sold year of sales gross sales and net sales and our requirement is we have to calculate the profit for each and every row and profit calculation is gross sales minus net sales okay now we come to the power bi so data already uploaded now we have the gross sales and net sales so add new column profit then gross sales net sales and tricky so you can observe we have a new column profit calculated column and in that column we have the calculation for each and every row gross sales minus the net profit say for for 20 minus 400 that is the 20 and that calculation happens on and each and every row because the processing is being done in the row context now we check the practical of the row context first of all we check the data we are using for this practical we have access sheet and data are the country product quantity sold year of sales gross sales and net sales and our requirement is we have to calculate profit profit gross sales minus net sales back to or bi so data already uploaded so our requirement is calculation of the profit gross sales minus net sales and we want this calculation on each and every row so this will happen in case of the row context new column profit gross sales minus net sales enter so you can observe we have a new column that is the profit it is a calculated column and the calculation is gross sales minus net sales 420 and 400 so equal to 20 then second row 30 minus 15 equal to 15 so this calculation this formula applies on each and every row so this is called the row context now we check the practical of the filter context our requirement is we have to like uh, make some calculation only for the some selected data say for the selected country say Canada so for that purpose we need a filter so we change this formula calculate gross sales then minus some net sales and press enter key so you can observe the result is the same because the calculate function by default it works in the row context but we can change the context of this calculate function by adding the filter because our requirement is we need to calculate the profit only for selected country say Canada so we add a filter comma country then equal to say Canada now we can check so calculation happens only for data whose country is the Canada so this 20 is the Canada 480 again Canada 640 again Canada so as we discussed first of all filter applies so it extracted the data whose country is the Canada then applied the uh, calculation or expression row by row so this is called the filter context now we check the another example of the filter context so we have a table and in table country gross sales and net sales so you can see in the table the last column we have the total of the gross sales and the net sales so we create a measure one measure
different sales then some gross sales minus net sales so we have a major and major always works in this filter context so we take a card and difference so this is the difference between the total of gross sales and total of net sales now we take a slicer and slicer say country so in the slicer we have the list of the all the countries it means no filter is applied for now so in the slicer it's like a filter if i check the canada country so we have the data only for the canada and also the different chain so this difference is between this one and this one. another country france germany say multiple country control canada and france so this data is working in the filter con context and when you create a measure so measure always uh, works in a filter context so guys this was all about the row context and filter context in power bi decks thanks for watching the video